Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, A Little Bit of Everything with Erin. Today we will be doing a quick tutorial on how to use the eyedropper function. Side note, you do need designer edition or higher to use this function. As you can see, I have lots of different images and some wording on my screen that I've pre-done to get this video going. I went over to the fill pattern section and used one of the random patterns that they have in here to fill a square. Now let's say I want the circle to be exactly like that. I can go to the fill pattern and pick that one, but if I grab one from Google, then I need to do a modify. So instead of doing that, you just click the item that you want to fill. And you go to the eyedropper and click on the pattern that you want to use and that will be filled in that object. It'll do that in any object and you can click multiple ones that you want to fill at the same time and it goes ahead and fills them. You can also do this with a font to figure out which one you are using so it'll change it to the color, the shape, and the font that you used. So we'll click that and then the eyedropper and then the word we want it to change to and it changes it so that it matches. And we'll just make it smaller to fit. So it's actually a really helpful tool in some sense. Um, you will have to do less work with it, so it's just a really nice little upgrade. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I do try to get to those right away. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my page, and it's really easy to do. Just click on the little lady right here, little crafty mama, and she'll let you subscribe. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Share it if you want to. That always helps me out. And if you hit that bell, you'll get notifications anytime I post new videos. As always, guys, happy crafting!